All right, guys, well, welcome back to another Cooking Matters recipe video. Again, my name is Chef Lawson. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a turkey chili with vegetables recipe. Delicious, you know. Um, we're gonna be using ground turkey. We're gonna be using uh, kidney beans. Uh, and you could use any sort of beans. We're gonna use kidney beans really to um, add more protein into this um, recipe along with added fiber. First, we're gonna start um, with slicing and dicing all the vegetables. Remember our mise en place, we've talked about that in past videos. Having everything ready, having your ingredients ready to go, my beans, my uh, onion, a little carrot, a little bit of green bell pepper, uh, some garlic, some tomatoes. So having everything ready, uh, mise en place, everything in its place. We're gonna start with white, regular white onion, but it could be red onion, you could leave it out. You could uh, substitute for anything else that you'd like. So again, with our knife safety, um, we're gonna start by, uh, again with our claw just coming down. Um, we're going to start by making our horizontal cuts into this um, onion, right? And then coming back, making our vertical cuts. And remember, as I get to the middle, I'm gonna take my hand and go over and slice between my fingers. And as I get to the other side, I'm just gonna move my hand and get into it. And then come straight down, start that dice. Very simple, right? And as we get to the portion that isn't cut, I'm just gonna come through with my knife, make cuts. Turn it 90 degrees, continue making my cuts the other way. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our carrot. Um, I've already got it washed and peeled and I've already taken the bottom and the top off. Um, when we peel a carrot, you can already peel it down and get a flat side very easy, right? Using your peeler. That way it's gonna be more stable when we cut it. What I like to do then is I like to cut it again through my fingers here like this and cut it all the way lengthwise to make really flat sides so they're laid flat, okay? And then from there I like to just do strips. Very simple. Notice I've got that thumb tucked underneath so I don't cut it. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back the other way, line them all back up the other direction, and do my dice. The main thing is to dice them all the same size, that way they cook all the same time. This is a green bell pepper. Of course, we could use any variety of pepper, yellow, red, orange. I'm gonna take the top off, right? Keep that little, uh, top, just throw the stem away. I'm going to take the bottom off. I'm going to go ahead and while I'm here, uh, chop these separately, just come across. All right, turn it the other way, go through and make your uh, dice. Some people cut straight down. You can uh, definitely cut straight down like this and get your pepper sides. Another way also is to roll it. If you make a little cut like I did there, you can see in, you can see what we call the pith, the white spot. And I'm just gonna take my knife and cut. Now I'm gonna roll it and I can see where I'm cutting. And I'm just gonna take the whole core out in one section. It's easier to cut a pepper with, uh, with the skin side down, you're cutting from the inside. So now we're just gonna make what we'd say our julienne or our matchstick cuts, right? This makes it very simple. And then we're just gonna shore them up, come through and cut our dice. This would be what we call a medium dice, not too fine. We want a little bit of chunkiness to our chili. Again, garlic, you know, I want to just um, smash down, take my knife flat, blade away from me, smash down a few times. That way, uh, just take the tip of your knife in there and that way the skin just comes off in one piece. We're going to just do a nice um, cut through this. Sort of like we've done every other cut. This is a basic knife skill. Again, uh, 45 degree angle to our board as we're cutting. Now we've got all our vegetables cut and prepped. The garlic, the bell pepper, the onions, the carrots. Um, we're also, I've also rinsed the beans. 
So these are red kidney beans. Again, you can use whatever, black beans, cannellini, white beans, red kidney beans. Try to get the ones that are no salt added in the can, um, but you're still gonna rinse them. We're gonna rinse off the sauce, and if you can't find it without salt, we're gonna rinse off the sodium with, with the water also. We're gonna start with our um, turkey. Again, if you wanna make this vegetarian, add two cans of beans and leave out the turkey, right? One way to, to uh, make it vegetarian. So I'm just gonna add this in. I love the sizzle. Again, you notice I have not added any fat to it, any oil. We always think as turkey uh, as being a lower fat, good protein source, but it does have enough fat that you don't really need um, a, the oil, and it does have water inside of it too. And we're going to go in and add our spices in now. So this is cumin, right? The, the cumin is that flavor we think of when we eat Latin food, Mexican food. Um, anything, a taco, anything like that. Cumin is definitely the, um, the flavor that we love. So I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of cumin. Oops. And I'm also gonna add in three tablespoons of chili powder. You can see here, the meat is really now highly seasoned from the chili powder and the cumin, um, it smells and it looks delicious. You get that red flavor, that red um, color to it. Um, again, this is a way of adding the flavor without adding too much salt to it, right? Uh, we're also gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna use my one teaspoon measure and just fill it up about three quarters of the way. And um, I'm actually going to uh, stir in the garlic now. Now as we add our vegetables, I'm going to stir in the garlic so it sort of gets um, nicely going here. I'm actually going to stir in now my carrots because they're the hardest, right? Saute them. A little bit of the green goes in there too. But get the carrots in there. We're gonna saute these. I'm gonna go ahead and add all my, uh, the rest of the onion and the bell pepper. So next I'm actually gonna add my tomatoes in and get the bottom up and then we'll last we will add our beans in since they're already cooked and canned, okay? So the recipe may call for two uh, 14 ounces or 15 ounces of bean, of tomatoes, um, diced or crushed. These happen to be crushed. I'm using one large can. So I'm just going to add them in. I'm going to get the little, the rest of this tomato out by putting a little water in the can. Just like that, swishing it around and just adding that in there. Really knows that I'm getting as much as I can out of it. So good tip. You can always add more water and if it's too thin, you can always reduce it on the heat and it'll take the water out of it. We're going to add the beans that are rinsed. I'm going to put a lid on it and let it cook. So 15 minutes with the lid on top uh, and when we get done we should have a delicious turkey and vegetable chili. We're going to serve it in a bowl um, and we're going to talk uh, when we serve it up about using Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, as an alternative to sour cream. Um, that way we have less fat added onto it. It's just a healthy ingredient. Also, we can, we're gonna serve it with some fresh lime wedges. Nothing more delicious with Latin or Mexican food than a fresh lime. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna get my bowl ready here. Um, so now, oh, it's delicious. We're going to add as garnishes to this fresh lime. We're gonna slice it into wedges. You could use, um, uh, jarred lemon or lime juice if you, if you uh, don't have fresh and you can use lemon too, fine, right? Adding the acidity is going to help out that we don't, we have less sodium salt level inside of our chili. Anytime you use a squeeze of fresh uh, citrus, whether it be lemon, lime, orange, it's going to really boost our uh, tongue to think we're having more salt than we are. So good healthy tip. Also, um, Greek yogurt. So this is plain Greek yogurt. We're going to use it in in place of sour cream. Uh, plain Greek yogurt is not the sugary, sweet, 
yogurt uh, that you may get and eat for breakfast or have with a parfait. Um, this uh, plain yogurt, uh, Greek yogurt, is thicker, you can tell, than the other yogurts, and it has more protein within for other yogurts. It's going to be the nice dollop on top of a bowl of chili with the lime. It's going to be delicious. I have our bowl here of chili. Put a little dollop of our plain uh, Greek yogurt right, right there. Delicious. Followed by a couple of our sections of lime. Let's take a look at my plate. This chili has two sources of protein, the turkey and the beans. It has onion, carrots, peppers, and tomatoes for vegetables and fruit. And the Greek yogurt adds a bit of dairy. If you want to add a grain, you could serve this with cornbread or maybe some brown rice. Enjoy!